Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. I begin in the name of Allah, the All Beneficent, the All Merciful. The title of the book is The Roots of Religion, Chapter 10, The Unique in Power and Strength, The Wide and Mysterious Universe. A little reflection on the creation of each of the objects of existence will reveal to our minds the unique power of the Creator. As examples, consider the following. First, the defense system of the body has for a long time attracted the attention of physiologists. The body's defense system is a complicated one consisting of the lymph glands, the thymus, the spleen, the liver and the bone marrow. The cells of these parts of the body, despite the difference in their structure, follow a common aim that is, defending the body against foreign elements such as microbes and poisons. In this task, the white blood cells found in their greatest concentration in the lymph glands play a vital role. When a foreign body enters the organism, the white blood cells, which are about 7 to 30 microns in a diameter, rush immediately to the site of the invasion and in various ways, prevent an increase in the danger. To help these cells, the body follows different ways in the fight against foreign elements and to combat each foreign substance, it manufactures antibodies. The antibodies made in the body are of different sorts. Some of them are for the destroying of microbes and their elimination. Some of them neutralize animal, insect and chemical poisons. Some stop the activity of microbes and others separate out the poisonous substance in microbes and other noxious bodies. Yet another kind comes into action when blood from an incompatible blood group enters the body. The point is that the body can manufacture suitable antibodies against all kinds of foreign substances even those which are yes yet to unknown to modern science. Second, the director of the Leon Observatory on Mount Palomar in Arizona has said, As long as the telescope of this observatory had not been invented, the range of the visible universe was not more than 500 light years. But this telescope has extended this range to 1000 mile million light years. As a result, millions of new galaxies have been found and some of these are a thousand million light years from us. But beyond this distance, there is a great, dark, fearful expanse in which nothing can be seen. That is to say that no light comes from it which leaves its traces on the photographic plates of the telescope. But without doubt, there are hundreds of millions of galaxies by the force of whose gravity the universe is held together. The whole of this immense visible universe which contains a hundred thousand million galaxies is nothing but a small and insignificant speck in a still more immense universe and I am not sure that we shall not find beyond that yet another universe. Ali ibn Abi Talib, the first Imam, peace be upon him, said, We are not able to fathom from the depths of your greatness, only we know that you are living and everlasting, that neither slumber nor sleep takes hold of you. No sight can reach you and no eye can see you, but you can see the eyes and reckon the time span of everything. The heads and feet of man are in your hold. What is that we see of your creation? What is the power that causes us to wonder? What can we describe of your ruling? Those parts which are hidden from us, which our eyes cannot reach, which our minds cannot comprehend, which are covered by curtains of concealment, are more magnificent. Indeed, the unique power of Allah has brought everything into existence and nothing falls outside the area of His command. 
the world exists by the will of Allah and it will continue to exist as long as he desires. The stars, the moon, the sun and the other heavenly bodies move around by his power and the amazing order of the universe is in entirely in his hands. He is able to change it to a new order whenever he wishes. It is not the case that he created the world and then abandoned it, the rotation, the growth, pulsation, existence and sustenance of everything are from his will. Nothing can happen about Nothing can happen without his willing, neither can anything remain. So the one who brings things into existence, who sustains them and governs them is Allah. An order superior to the natural one. It is true that Allah has laid down a natural order for this universe, according to which it is possible to anticipate the future. But in certain circumstances, Allah manifests his wide-ranging power and by his will creates a superior order which can dominate the existing order. Instances of this superior order can be seen from history and in everyday life. In these cases, we see how the hand of Allah is at the work in the universe. At times, he raises those who have fallen and at other times, he causes those who are elevated to be cast down. It is for this reason that those who have a strong faith in the powerful God do not become disappointed in life. In whatever situation they find themselves, in the darkness of despair, the flame of hope is alight and they are confident that they will find deliverance through the help of God. We have all read or heard the story of Musa and Fir'aun. Fir'aun was unequal in cruelty. He killed the sons of Israelis so that the promised one of the children of Israel who he had heard would come to destroy his throne and crown would not come into his life. He thought that by these contrivances, by persistence and through the natural order, he could counteract the power of God. But his efforts were in vain. At last, the promised one was born. The mother of the child was inspired to put him in a box and to cast him onto the waters of the Nile. The river carried him down to the palace of the pharaoh, that is the pharaoh, and the eyes of pharaoh's wife caught sight of the box, and she took it out of the water. When she saw the infant in it, she asked pharaoh to take the child as their own son, and pharaoh agreed. The powerful hand of God kept the child of whom pharaoh was so afraid in his very lap, till he grew up, became strong, and brought down the crown of the pharaoh. Similarly, the power of God caused the vain efforts and devices of the brothers of Yusuf to come to nothing. Yusuf salam, peace be upon him, fell down into the well, but he was raised to a high position in the land of Egypt. The unbelievers of Mecca joined hands to do away with the prophet of Islam. They began to make trouble for the Muslims and even applied economic sanctions against the Prophet and his followers for several years in the valley of the mountains of Abu Talib. Peace be upon him. Eventually they decided to murder the Prophet, thinking that by such subtle feuds they could achieve something. But the will and power of God preserved the Prophet and he caused Islam to prosper day by day and brought down the Quraysh and the disbelievers. These and other examples lead to the truth and that the order of this world, it is in the hands of God. And that when it is according to his wish, he can cause a new order to rule over the normally existing order. Therefore, our minds and our consciences demand that we humble ourselves before this great and beneficent power, act in all obedience and avoid opposing our creator. The powerful hand of God has moved us through various stages and has brought us to our present stage of intelligence and ability. Is it right that we should forget Him? One who knows God, acknowledging that He has such a wise and powerful helper, will not fear any difficulty. 
the most complex and difficult problems can be solved by him and consequently he will try to reach his aim with unflinching determination arising from his faith in god he will not be afraid of any obstacles for he sees himself in the shade of a great power which will enable him to cover all difficulties belief in god and his unique power enabled the prophet to fight large scale groups single handedly to stand firm against difficult circumstances so that he could build the structure of tawhid that is oneness of god and a program for life in this way he was able to establish humanity and virtue a man whose heart is overflowing with faith in the creator of the world and is filled with love for the truth will never feel alone disappointed or without hope and the light of god will always illuminate the corners of his heart obviously such a man will make himself ready for a better and more virtuous life with unbounded enthusiasm